Um, well, for one, the people there, they're just, they're the friendliest and sweetest and warmest people I'll ever meet, and I think anyone could ever meet. They're just so welcoming and always shaking your hand, and, um, and you can tell it's not just that way because, you know, we're the white missionaries. They're, they're that way with each other, too. Um, and then, for first glance at the country, it's just a really beautiful country. It's um, lots of uh, rivers and bushes and monkeys. And, but then when you look at the heart of the country, you see the poor people and you see the poverty and you see their huts and you see their pain. And then, but then you look in their churches and you see their joy and you see them worshiping and you see them happy even in the midst of all their pain. So. How was, how was, how were the teenagers? How were those, the, you know, as you looked around at those your own age, what were their lives like? Um, well, for one, they work a lot harder than we do here. And as I, I might even tend to argue, no, you work hard here, here too. But, I mean, they have to work to get their family food, to get their family water, to watch their siblings probably every day. Um, and life just doesn't come as easy to them as it does for us. Uh, and I think they're just so much great. Even the kids and the parents and the little ones. Um, and we, we did a VBS there while we were there and um, there were pre-teens and teenagers there as well. And we told them that they were gonna, we, ne the next day we were gonna bring them pencils and notebooks and paper and erasers and stickers. And I mean, their reaction was like, they, we had just told them they were getting iPods and iPads and iPhones, like they were so happy and ecstatic for something like a pencil. That's just such a little thing that we take for granted here. So they definitely just don't take those little things for granted. What did you see God do through the team that, that went there to do the, the work? Um, well, while we were there, we worked with, through, um, some churches to do village crusades where we where the team preached to them and uh, we sang worship songs with them and it was shocking to see like especially for instance when my dad preached um, how many people came up and raised their hands and in their own language committed their lives to Christ you could tell that um, the crusades really had an impact on them for that um, and you at one of the crusades um, I met a girl, and not just her, but like everybody, they, you could just see how much it meant to them just by shaking their hand and saying hi to them and giving them a hug and, you know, asking their name. And um, one girl had me write, write my name down in a little scrap of paper that she calls her notebook. Like, just, it was just cool to see the impact that you had just, you know, saying hi to them. So. What did God teach you? Um, well, God really taught me not just to not take for granted those little things um, and to just be I've been I've been much more uh, grateful for what I have here and like just those little things like for instance just a fight over a pillow with my brother you know like it's a pillow I want the pillow but no you can't have it but I mean a pillow for the kids there without beds is like amazing you know so just when in the moment you think about it you're like why am I fighting over a pillow it's just a pillow they don't have pillows there, so just be grateful that you have pillows at your house, you know? So, yeah. Right. So, in previous weeks, I asked the question, how could this trip impact Grace Church? So, Chris, how are you going to answer that one? I have a sermon in just a few minutes, so. Okay, so. Great. 
Dale and Megan over here. We um, got a short, a small EP out um, that's going to be coming out here shortly. So we have um, a list on the back if you would like to be emailed when it's available on Noise Trade. Um, it's kind of just a part of how we've been raising or well raise funds for the trip. So yeah, during I don't know. Sorry, Steve. Am I? I'm not going to dismiss him on the break yet. You dismiss him. I don't know what's going on. So anyways, if you want to put your email down, we would love to include you on the email blast next week when it's live on Noise Trade for our music. 